this broadcast in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want to thank the Lord for how far the Lord has helped us. And I pray that the Lord in his infinite mercy will deliver us as a nation, will deliver us as the body of Christ, as a family, as an individual. This morning, by the grace of God, we shall be treating a very important topic. We are going to be looking at a very special aspect of prayer. Prayer is the life wire of this church. Prayer is the life wire of every believer. And that is why this morning, by the grace of God, I will share with you what I call inquiring prayer. Inquiring prayer. What do I mean by inquiring prayer? Inquiring prayer is a, a, a responsive prayer. Inquiring prayer is a, a, a prayer of conversation. And that is why we're going to see an example of this in the life of King David. We are going to read from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. But before we read the word of God, I want us to pray together. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for the way you have been helping us. Thank you for your church. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for every individual. I ask that God, even at the end of this message, your name alone shall be, shall be glorified. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Once again, as I said some minutes ago, we are going to read from 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. I read. But when the Philistines heard that they had anointed King David over Israel, all the Philistines came up to King to see David, and David heard of it, and went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim, verse 19. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Would thou deliver them into my hands? And the Lord said to David, Go, go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into their hand. Verse 20. And David came to Baal Perazim. And David smote them there and said, The Lord has broken forth upon my enemies before me as the bridge of waters. Therefore, he called the name of that place Baal Perazim. The Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. As I said with you, the theme of this message is taken from verse 19. The Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord. David inquired of the Lord. I'm sharing with you what I call inquiring prayer. Inquiring prayer. To inquire in the school of prayer is, is a kind of prayer to seek the face of God. It's a kind of prayer to search out. It's a kind of prayer to look for response. Inquiring prayer is not just a prayer of, I just want to pray and I go away. And a good example is what we have found in the word of God as it happened as it, as it happened in the life of David. David, at that very point in time, when the Philistines, the, the Philistines, they gathered against him. The Bible says, and David inquired of the Lord. He sought the face of God. Not just praying. And that is the message to us this morning. The body of Christ, we are fast going away from the basic principle of prayers. We are fast deviating from what prayer is supposed to be. Permit me to tell you this morning, people of God. Prayer is a two-way traffic. Prayer is a two-way traffic. Prayer is responsive. When a man prays, definitely, that man, by the grace of God, there should be a response. When you speak to God in prayer, there should be a response. I want to thank God this morning that there is an honor God has given every believer. There is an honor the Lord has given the church of God. And that is the honor of prayers. Every believer, every child of God, has the honor to pray. And but the issue is, when people pray, when they come before the Lord pray, how many of us realize that when we pray, prayer is not a one-way traffic? And that is what we have seen in the ministry of David as a king. David, at that point in time, 
he saw the Philistine and said, Lord. He inquired of the Lord. He said, Lord, should I go after these people? Should I go for them? So the primary aim of prayer is not only speaking to God, but speaking to God and God responding. And that makes it an inquiry prayer. When a man is burdened with the issue of life, you go before the Lord to pray. And when you pray, you don't just, just pour out your heart, but you pray and you stay in all you, to a level that you'll be able to listen and say, God, what are you saying? A good example is what I found in the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. Habakkuk says, he said, he said, I will be on my watch and I will look out for what the Lord will say. He said, I will be on my watch and I will look out for what God will say. And that is the spirit of prayer. Spirit of prayer is ability to be there to watch via prayer. And when a man is watching via prayer, you speak out to God. You present your needs before the Lord. Then you expect God to speak back to you. There's no way when a man prays, he cannot pray and tell God, say, God, I have prayed and I'm going away. No. When you pray to God, you expect God to respond. You expect God to give you direction. You expect God to give you way forward. You, have, you expect God to instruct you how you will go about the matter you are prayed for. And that is the message to us this morning. Many believers today will miss out in that school of prayer. We miss out when we pray and we don't receive. And that is why you see a lot of Christians, or a lot of believers in court, they fall into the hand of wrong ministers of God. Why? They are not taught or they refuse to learn that when a man prays, there is the place of God responding to your prayer. Abba God said, he said, I will be on for my watch and I will hear what the Lord will say. A good example too was what happened to John the Beloved in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 1. John Beloved says, or he, said, I, he said, I was in the spirit on the last day. That was when uh, uh, John Beloved was on the island of Patmos. He said, I was in the spirit on the last day, looking out, waiting, what would the Lord say? What would the Lord minister to me? That is the spirit of prayer. And I believe what the Lord is saying to us as individual and as a Christian is that we need to get to a level whereby we don't just run and pray and lay prayer points and when after pray, that is the end of the matter. No, God is looking for people that be able to wait. People that be able to listen. I want to tell you people of God, God wants to speak. God wants to speak. I remember the book of Psalm chapter 46 verse 10. The Bible says, be still and know that I am the Lord. After prayers, and that is the experience of the psalmist. That is the experience of the psalmist. When you pray, let us learn to be still. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, be still and know that I am the Lord. That is the word of the Lord to the psalmist in the place of conversation. Prayer is like conversation. When you speak to the Lord, get to a level whereby you'll be able to be still before the Lord. Permit me to tell you this morning, prayer is a school. Prayer is a, 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 is a place where you learn. You learn. You learn the skill of presenting your matter. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah said, he said, plead thou thy case. When you are pleading your case, of course, when you plead your case before a judge, that judge will respond. And that is the essence of the message this morning. Let us learn to plead our case. Not only to plead but when we plead, there should be a response. We should be able to hear God. We should be able to listen to God. We should be able to listen to Him. We should be able to hear God and say, God, what do you want to say? Psalms 32 verse 8. At that point, God says, I'm ready to instruct you. He said, I will instruct you. I will guide you and tell you how you will go. If a man is not able to wait before the Lord, how will a man hear the instruction? If a man is not, he doesn't have the knowledge that, look, when I pray, I need to hear God. And that is why this morning the word of God is coming to us. Let us train our spirit. Let us train ourselves. Ability to pray, one, apart from praying, we need to listen to God. What is the Lord saying about a particular matter? You can bring a matter to the Lord, but what is the Lord saying about that, that, that matter? I pray the Lord will help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can see the example of what happened to King David. Yes, of course, 
The host of those people, they came. The Philistines came. They were ready to do battle with him. Maybe he saw them and said, God, will I be able to overpower these people? So he saw the face of God. Those things we are experiencing in life, what we need to do is to go before the Lord. God, what should I do about this matter? And I want to thank God as we read in that place, the Lord told David, he said, go up against them. I will surely deliver the Philistine into their hand. And if we look at verse 20, the Bible says, and David smooth all of them. He smoothed all of them. And he called that place the Valley of Baal Perazim. That is to say, the place where God, you know, destroyed all his enemies. Until we get to that level, when we'll be able to speak and hear from God. And that is why I, I, want, I, want, I want to raise three important issues as regards prayer. When it comes to a level of praying to the Lord, praying or going to prayer of inquiry, three things are very, very important. Number one, what do you say to the Lord? What are your prayer points? What do you say to God? What are you presenting before God? A good example is what I found in the book of First Kings chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. The popular story of Solomon. Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Solomon presented his case before the Lord. Solomon said, God, all I need from you is what? Wisdom. He said, God, give me wisdom to rule these people. He presented his case. And if you read that place in verse 10 in particular, in particular the Bible says, and God was pleased with the prayers of Solomon. So, we, apart from just you know, praying and praying, what are those things we need to present? Some people just are, they are praying and the young people praying. No. What are you taking to God? What are you saying to God? It's very, very important in the school of prayer. When you want to pray, you should be able to know these are the things I'm praying. Some people say, hey, Pastor, how do you think I can pray without praying? I'm telling you, people of God, I've seen people, I've interacted with people. So what are you doing and praying? What are you praying about? They don't know. The Bible says Solomon presented his case before the Lord. And the Bible says the Lord was pleased with Solomon. That's number one. Know what you want to present before the Lord. Number two, what is God saying about your presentation? What is God saying about your prayers? What is God's response? And that makes it an inquiring prayer. What is the response of God to that prayer? Of course, when you pray to the Lord, you will be expect that after presenting your matter, there should be a response. There should be a feedback. So, when you pray, number one, number two, there should be a response. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, after the response, what do you do with the response? What do you do with the response? Yes, a man can pray. A man can receive from the Lord. God can respond to a man. But what do we do? The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find help in the time of need. It is the help you find, it is the response you take from there that you will use. Now, when you now find the help, what are you going to do? What are you doing with it? What are you doing with the revelation? What are you doing with the remnant God has given to you? These three important things are very, very are, are, are vital in the ministry of prayer. We need to present our matters. We need to hear God. We need to carry that revelation. We need to do something with it. Thank God. If God will say, this is the instruction I am giving you. It is your duty. It is my duty after prayer to ensure what the Lord has spoken to you. It is, in a way, we, we position ourselves to ensure that word of knowledge, that revelation, the response of God is marshaled home into our life. It's brought into implementation. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, people of God, if there's anything to do this morning, if there's anything I want us to do, is that I want us to pray. Wherever you are watching me, I don't want you to be in hurry. I want you to settle down. That matter that is troubling your life, what you need to do is to go before the Lord like David and inquiring prayer. Inquiring prayer. 
like David. David said, God, what am I going to do? Should I go after these people? I want you to position yourself in the, in the place of prayer. Begin to gather those burdens. Begin to gather those prayer points. Begin to gather those problems. And begin to present them before the Lord. And say, God, what are you? What can I do about this matter? So wherever you are, it's time for prayers. Begin to present your matter. Plead your case before the Lord. God, what do I need to do? Begin to speak to God. To say, first of all, thank God for the ability to pray. Say, God, I thank you for giving me the ability to pray. So where you are, just begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. I shall pray that prayer now. Tell the Lord, Father, open my ears to hear you. Open my ears, oh God, to hear you when I pray. I don't just want to, I don't want to pray to the hear. But when I pray to you, oh God, I want to listen. I want to hear you speak to me. Now tell the Lord, Father, help me. Give me a hearing here. Give me ability to hear in the realm of the spirit what you are saying. As you are praying that prayer, I know the Almighty God is there to listen to you. And as you are receiving from the Lord, tell the Lord, Father God, help me. Now, as I'm hearing from you, ability to implement, to carry out your revelation, your instruction and directive, Lord, give it to me. Thank you, Father. I want to pray a prayer of faith with you before I head to this broadcast. Wherever you are, believe in your heart that as you are praying that prayer, the Lord will speak to you. There is somebody you are listening to me. I know God is God will speak to your heart. Believe in your heart. Set you down in the realm of the spirit. Listen to your spirit, man. And I know the Lord will speak to you. Can you just bow your heads wherever you are and let us pray? Our Father and our God will thank you. Thank you for this aspect of prayer that you are teaching us again this morning. Ability to inquire. Ability to seek. Ability to, 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 to seek. Ability to, 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 to look out for what you will tell us in the, in the place of prayer. Lord, I pray this morning you will help your children in the name of Jesus. As many that will plead their cases, as many that will come before you, oh Lord, I ask for them, I ask for God, that God will give them open heavens in the name of Jesus. That God, their heavens of prayer will be open and their prayer will be answered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your name, O God, in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen and amen. God bless you.